how's everyone doing there today this is undead nightmare 24 back with a video hope everyone's doing well out there this is going to be a haul video i did receive a few things through the mail here a little stack to go through i got some uh 4ks and some blu-rays um i had a walmart pickup um best buy and also some stuff through the mail i got my severin july package and some couple 4k limited editions We'll be going through here, guys, so everyone sit back, relax. Let's get this going. I'll start off with the Walmart pickup. I picked this up at Walmart for $10. It's called Deliver Us From Evil. It's kind of like an Asian action film. Uh, story kind of reminded me of, like, Man on Fire with Denzel Washington. That's what it reminded me of. I, I don't know if it's similar, but... It says, after a little girl is kidnapped, a government agent turned mercenary is forced to re-emerge when he learns the incident is closely connected to him however when an infamous gangster learn learns who has emerged the, con the country and is finally within his grasp he goes on a bloody rampage to thwart the ex-agent's rescue mission yeah that sounded really interesting so i picked it up walmart for 10 bucks couldn't go bad that's deliver us from evil next up we got this is actually a, a 4k Still book I got from Best Buy. Got the Last Action Hero. This was released with a regular 4K. I don't buy too many still books, but this one sold me. I like the art. It's the original art. And the one on the regular 4K didn't impress me, so I said went with a still book. Uh, there's Last Action Hero. There's the back art. Um Yeah, I haven't seen this film since probably I was it came out. I was like a kid, teenager, something like that, but I remember going and buying like McDonald's Happy Meals and excited for the toys from this film, but I don't I don't remember the film, but it is it is Arnold Schwarzenegger, so I'm sure I'm, I'll enjoy it in some some way. And there's the the digital code. If you guys want it, first come first serve. The last action hero. Let's get into the inside. There's the Ultra HD. And the Blu-ray. And also there, there's some some inside art. I love when they do that. Pretty cool. Let me put that back real quick there, guys. So there's the still book from Last Action Hero. Really like that art. Next up, we got a Criterion. This is a new release from Criterion. Deep cover. I really like this movie. It has a uh, Lawrence Fishburne uh, from Boys in the Hood and The Matrix, and also has a uh, Jeff Goldblum from Independence Day and uh, else, uh, Jurassic Park. This is a pretty cool drug kind of gangster flick, undercover cop flick. And this is a beautiful edition from Criterion. It does have a 4K uh, restoration. I did have this on DVD, but this is a this is a good upgrade for my collection, and I I just I love the art. I had to pick this up, and then it does come with a also a booklet. Look at that art on the booklet, freaking awesome! And it opens up, pretty much extends. It's like long ways. I'd like to show all that, but yeah, it's pretty plain on the inside, but the outside has some. I like that pink. Pink and like purplish blue color on it really makes it stand out. There's the booklet. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Uh, kind of undercover cop drug dealing movie. There's the disc, real nice art there. I like the color scheme. Nothing really on the inside. Just your plain basic colors, but it's a real, real nice addition. I don't think this one has been released on Blu ray yet. That color scheme is just what sold me. That's deep cover from Criterion. Next up, I got an MVD uh, Rewind Edition. Mortuary. Been eyeing this for a long time. It was out of print. Went for crazy money. Now MVD re-released it. It does have uh, the late, great Bill Paxton. I haven't seen this film, but I love my 80s horror films. So you can still see uh, Bill Paxton. I like that original art. 
M MVD usually has the same art. It doesn't have the alternate art. And there's a little poster that comes with it. You know, the MV MVD posters. I put them on my background sometimes. I used to with my action and exploitation reviews. Little small posters that come in it. But yeah, I'm finally happy to own this. I'm trying to get as much 80s horror as I can. And this is one I haven't seen, Mortuary. I like that retro look to these slip covers. Now we'll get into the Severin uh, package, July package. We got Born for Hell. I have, know nothing about this film, but it, it looked pretty cool. It says, truly intense and shocking. A nightmarish trip into the heart of human darkness that will haunt your mind for a good while. Hopefully that does. Tons of special features on this, guys. And it's the U.S. Blu-ray premiere. The director's cut with all new special features. I can tell with all that. It's loaded with special features. Uh, can't wait to get into this film. Looks interesting. Born for Hell. Next up in the Severin package. This is the one I was most hyped for. Skin Deep. It's the same director as uh, they released on there. St. Bernard. That was a real odd film. So I expect this one to be really odd too. But that cover just sold me instantly. There's the back. It says, A Gore Lover's Dream Come True. Worldwide premiere of the unrated version with all new special features. Soundtrack CD. And it does have a few special features. But yeah, this movie looks cool. Man. I like these bizarre bizarre kind of horror films. It has you know, the context for the soundtrack. You get the CD soundtrack. As well as the, the Blu-ray. This was limited to 2,000, guys. That's what it says on there. So that is Skin Deep by Gabriel Bartolos. Real nice cover. Next up, we got Siege. This did come with a slip cover. Heard good things about this film. I've never seen it. It did come with alternate art as well. That's real cool. The best Canadian film ever made. All right, we'll see about that. <laughs> and there's some back art as well on the slip. Totally unique and totally disturbing. Few Canadian films are as unrelenting, unrelenting gripping as Siege. Let's open it up. Nothing really on the inside. It's the same art on the disc. And there's the back. Gritty and Explosive, and the Worldwide worldwide Blu-ray, I cannot read today, guys. The Worldwide Blu-ray premiere of both a theatrical and extended version. So it has two versions of this film in this, in this edition. That is Siege. I have not seen it, but I've heard good things about it. Next up, I just want to get into this real quick, guys. There's going to be a little rant on this. I ordered from Scream Factory Direct. And they sent me the package. Look how this package is, man. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting. I apologize, but it's just from Shout. The package came damaged. And so did my edition when I opened it up. My Blu-ray and my slip cover were apart in the package. And there was damage done to it. I was real upset. So I'm not going to order from Scream Factory Direct anymore. Unless it's a edition I got to have like a box set. But otherwise, I'm not. Because they, they just don't have the care for their packaging. And look what happened here, guys. Look at the slip. Got the dent on the corner. Just horrible, sir. Ho horrible packaging by the company, man. Come on, Scream Factory. You're better than this. And then it came with the alternate art. Uh, I enjoy this remake of House of Wax. Here's the back. Special features. But yeah, that slip is just getting to me. I don't know if I'll end up replacing it later, get another slip, but right now. Could have been worse, but still some damage. Luckily, the disc wasn't damaged. And we got the same art as a slip cover on there. And now some mouse coming from there. I hope it ain't damaged. Yeah, I was disappointed in Screen Factory, man. 
their packaging. And that's what happens. There's House of Wax from Scream Factory. And next up, we're going to get into some 4Ks. We got from Blue Underground, Dead and Buried with their lenticular slipcover. They did come with three different arts. But I wanted to keep the original. That is real cool. I like lenticular like that. This movie is one of my favorite 80 horror films. Just so atmospheric and creepy, man. And it has a, a young Robert England in it as well. There's the back. Uh, pretty loaded with special features as well. Let's open it up. It does have the same art as the slip, but I just love that art. It's so iconic. And back is the same. It does come with a booklet. Scan through this booklet real quick for you guys. Let's see if I can. It's got a lot of horror posters, like from other films Prom Night, Phantasm, Spy Squad. Which could be like a slasher in a way or ex action exploitation film at the Halloween the menu and then on the inside you got the soundtrack I love when they do this put the CD soundtrack the UHD and the blu-ray the inside art is the same as the outside no changes there like I said, this has three different uh, slipcover arts, but I chose the original. I just had to stay with that. And I like that it's lenticular too, like that. It's real cool. Blue Underground is killing it with their releases, man. And last but not least, I picked this up. The Bird with the Crystal Plumage uh, 4K edition from Arrow. Dario Argento film. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this film if you haven't. I recommend it the spine and the back art and I already flipped the the disc to the alternate art because I do that so there's the 4k edition with the Italian poster real cool I love that these 4k's have alternate art tons of special features guys I feel this is an underrated uh, Argento Jello man with the advertisement for the stylist I have that and then it did come with some lobby cards I get to those and it has the these on the back there was also also the the original well, let me get through these first and I'll talk about that the lobby cards real cool this is a good yellow man Underrated Argento. Jello cards. It did come with a poster as well. I don't know if I'll be able to show all that in this camera. I'll try my best. The poster. There is the poster. It's the same as the slip box. But then it has an alternate poster here. Which I really like. Real nice alternate poster there. Need to get me some frames and hang these up. Has the poster, and then it comes with a booklet. Really like that art. Awesome. I like the turquoise color with the black. Really blends in. Just scan through this. The booklet, real colorful. Love the smell of these new Aero editions. They smell awesome. Oops, scan through that for you guys. That's the booklet. Awesome edition from Arrow. Trying to collect these 4K editions that come out. Put these back. Slide these right in. And that's the bird with the crystal plumage from Arrow, 4K edition. Um, there is an alternate 
stick box you could get too. It's the original Italian art, but I didn't get that one. I just stayed with this. I like that basic color art. So those are my pickups, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Give you a recap. I got the bird with a crystal plumage. Limited edition 4K. Blue Underground 4K of Dead and Buried. Screen Factory edition of House of Wax. Severin edition of Siege. Severin edition of Skin Deep. Born for Hell. Severin edition. Mortuary MVD. Criterion edition of Deep Cover. 4K Steelbook of Last Action Hero. And Blu-ray of Deliver Us From Evil. So that's my haul, guys. Please hit a like, comment, subscribe. Hope everyone's doing well out there. This is Undead Nightmare 24, back with a video. Everyone stay safe, be kind to each other. Peace. Peace.